what is up everyone i know it's been a while i actually took a little bit of a, a break i'm pretty sure we can all tell but uh wanted to at least make a video for the end of the year and man 2018 thinking about it looking back at it now uh man this has actually been a fairly good year <laughs> surprisingly to be honest um you know, I'm, I, I'm, I took some notes on the channel just to see like how everything has been going and whatnot. And um, first of all, we 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 surpassed 300 subscribers. Right now, I'm currently sitting on 321, but I always fluctuates. But as a, at the time of me making this video right now, we are sitting on 321. And my goodness. First off, let me just say thank you guys. I know, like, it's it's like when I think back almost 10, 11 years ago when I saw this channel, I didn't even think I would have one subscriber. And apparently, that's the hard part getting one person to subscribe to you. But the fact that I have 321 of you guys subscribe to me, hey, that's awesome. That that is awesome. And ain't no way it's it's also steadily growing. That's something else that I've noticed with two, uh, with 2018 is that it it wasn't like a it's not like a fast growth or whatnot. Uh, that's gonna come in time, hopefully one day. Knock on wood. But you know, just the fact that like, I actually hit over 300 subscribers blows my mind away. I can tell you that like that's just mm. I like I still think about it. I'm like this 320, this <laughs> 321 people that actually watches my stuff. That's that's pretty awesome. And. Uh, Hopefully we can make this community grow even more because honestly, without you guys, like I'm just I'm just some random guy that, that makes videos. <laughs> so you guys, it's weird uh, how like the whole structure kind of works with the person, the, the creator and subscribers because it's 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 a team thing at, at the same time. But then there's also like you, know, you guys motivate me to make more content. You guys suggest things for me that you'd be like, hey, maybe you should try playing this game. And honestly, I, I do my best to try to get all the games you guys even suggest to me to play. To be like, keep that in mind. Because quite frankly, this year alone, let me, let's just run down to this. We, we've done, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've done 16 games, guys. In 2018, this is probably the most I've done like thinking back to all my other channels, I think the highs I've done in a year is maybe between somewhere between seven and nine games throughout a year. And I've done 16? That's like. That's so much! <laughs> and 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 honestly, like some of these kind of bled over from 2017 to 2018. But the fact that I, I I finished them all in 2018, I'm that's crazy. So like going back from the beginning, we had the the Mummy Demastered. That was a game. That was a game that I wasn't expecting to be so long. To be perfectly honest with you guys, but we we started that in 2017 and we finished it in 2018. Um, another game that started in 2017 and ended in 2018 was Future Rage 2. And also around that same time we had Kirby Squeak Squad. All those games started basically near the end of uh, 2017 and it's moving on to 2018. So we actually we actually ended up finishing all that, even though I just repeated stuttering myself. Yay. Uh, we did Shantae Half Hero, Half Genie Hero. I always want to say Half Hero Genie. <laughs> but we did Shantae Half Genie Hero. We, we ended up completing that game. Uh, then we did Kirby Star Allies, we ended up completing that. We did Crash Bandicoot, we did Sonic Mania Plus. Even though in 2017 we did Sonic Mania, <laughs> which is even more crazier later on. We did Kirby 64, we did Celeste, which my goodness, that, that game, that game could have been done so much sooner, but we all know I ran into some, some issues that got resolved later down the road. Um, I went back to Hyperlight Drifter Special Edition because it came out on the Switch. We did that game, which is kind of like a weird mesh of 25% of it blind and then 75% <laughs> of it 
another walkthrough. So that was something. Which, honestly, we're still not done with Hyper Light Drifter. We will, we will never be done with Hyper Light Drifter. I will keep playing that. I will find a reason to keep playing that game. Um, then we went into Sonic Mania Plus Encore and whatnot. So, and I believe the Sonic Mania Plus was me playing at through the whole game as Mighty. And then Sonic Mania Plus Encore was basically the whole team is here. And, and I still left that cliffhanger at the end of that whole thing. Hopefully 2019, we will get to that. <laughs> we did Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. That was actually uh, very surprising how much um, I really got into it, considering when I think of like the original Castlevania games and, and how they made you go me insane, and I've never beat any of those, I don't think I should beat this one, but you know, years of progress, I guess. <laughs> Um, moving on from that, we have, this is actually a pretty interesting one because technically speaking, I did finish Texture's Effect, but I was on a journey. Uh, there's the extra mode that I still haven't shown off that would probably be early 2019. Um, as well as the set runs where I'm not talking at all, it's just, oh man, I ran into some more issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm basically stuck somewhere and I'm just like I just need to walk away from the game for a bit and then I'll come back to it and then beat the last two sets and then basically Tetris Effect will be done um, we did Mega Man 11 and we did a blind one of that where I had you guys interact with voting and stuff even if I had to speed things up a little bit because th yeah that was that was a thing <laughs> but we ended up uh, beating Mega Man 11 um, at the same time, or actually afterwards, we I ended up picking up Grease, which is a fantastic indie game, and I feel like everyone should at least give it a try and whatnot. Because uh, one thing to watch me play through is a whole other thing to play through the game for yourself. Uh, and the last game, and I know that this is not technically all out as of right now, but Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is done. As I'm making this, as you guys are watching this video right now, that the rest of the episodes are being uploaded as I speak. So in 2019, that will finish off. So that really just leaves the only other projects that I have going would be uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Octopath Traveler. And right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, you know y'all have seen this at the very end of the year, I'm probably going to end up taking one more week to prepare. <laughs> I've been I've been steamrolling Shantae to get that game finished, completed. I just wanted that game done. And because literally I have two RPGs. And what's so crazy is we have literally in the beginning of January, I have, I think, four games? I'm looking at my calendar right now. No, I think I have three games. We have... Tales of Asperia, uh, the Definitive Edition, that comes out. We have uh, Tri Travis Touchdown Strikes Again, No More Heroes comes out. And then I have Kingdom Hearts 3. So my plate's already full and the year is just about to start. And I'm just like, what? What even? What do I even do? What? How do I even manage? And then have all these awesome games come out. At the beginning of the year, I'm just, mm, whatever, whatever, it's whatevs, but there, there's all that, and then there is what is coming next for the channel, obviously we have Pokemon and Octopath Traveler, but what's coming up in the future, it's going to be quite the surprise. Um, I know that for some of you guys have talked to me about doing the Mega Man Leg uh, Legacy, <laughs> Legacy, Mega Man Legend series. Uh, honestly, I really want to get into that too. I know I did one episode way back. Actually, I did it. <laughs> I did it during during this year. I did one episode and then didn't come back to it. That was basically like a pilot episode, I guess you can kind of say. Uh, I don't know if I would continue on from that. I can, I easily could, but I feel like because of how things have changed, it would be kind of weird to have like an uh, old style of me 
mesh into the new style. I almost feel like I just want to start that all over. And I feel like if I did Legends 1, I'd beaten Legends 1. I've never beaten Legends 2. Um, but I, I, I kind of want to do this. So that's, that's most likely going to be a thing for 2019. Um, another thing that's obviously going to be a 2019 game, I'm just, I'm just excited to know when this game is going to be releasing, it's going to be Streets of Rage 4, because they literally, just a few days ago, posted a, 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 a snippet, a, a little video clip of combo product, like, I'm just, I just want to play this game, I kind of want to see more characters, I want to see them announce more stuff, but as of right now, from what I'm seeing, and even the new screenshots they showed, I just, that is definitely, on like, the moment that game is released, <laughs> we'll be playing that game, and that's probably going to be, like, almost on a Hyperlight Drifter kind of thing, where I'm like, I want to play this multiple times, like, I want to bring other people in, hopefully it has online, <laughs> online play, because that'd be really helpful, um, but that is definitely, definitely something that I want to play on the channel once that game comes out. And then after that, uh, there's not really much of anything else that I'm really looking forward to playing. However, there are games that I've uh, purposely put in the back burner for, for for different reasons. So we can almost say 2019 is also be kind of a sequel month with certain games like, I don't know, possibly Shovel Knight. Possibly Crash Bandicoot because I haven't lost all my hair yet. But <laughs> Crash Bandicoot two and two and three might just might just do it. Yeah. So there's there's other games down the line. But the most important thing that I actually want to talk to you guys about, and this actually is very exciting. Very exciting. I was so happy when I heard about this and then seeing what's going on with my channel in general made me really happy. Is because Nintendo. You know, that those guys that keep hitting me recuperate gone. <laughs> right? Like when I heard the news, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Are you serious right now? So quite literally, uh they took down their Nintendo um program that they had going, which if you sign up for it, don't ever know. They just they basically took more of your money than anything else. But, on top of it, that means all the copyrights are gone, too. And as I am sitting here right now, the only copyrights that I have left, and this is at the end of the year right now, is still all the Kirby Star Allies stuff. That's literally it. Everything else that ever got hit with copyrights, gone. So, things that I wanted to do for the longest time, I can do now. Like, I, I, can, I can go into it not worrying that she's only hit with a copyright claim because it's a Nintendo game. That fear is now illiberal. <laughs> like, it's gone. I don't have to worry about it. So you know what that means? Some of my plans for Twitch for like uh, continuing like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I don't have to do now. I can literally continue my adventure from where I left off at. And I've already thought of how I was going to do it anyway when I came back, but it was going to be long of it. Like, Literally, each session would have probably been like an hour and 30 minutes. I don't know. An hour to an hour and 30 minutes. I'm still trying to fluctuate on time restraint. But because of how big that game is and how I like traveling all over the place, it's going to be pretty long. I may, I may even have people talk with me <laughs> as I'm going through the game. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, that game can come out of being on hiatus. And I can actually finish and beat that game. What this also leads me into is is going to certain games like the Metroid series. A lot of people, a lot of people really, really enjoyed my Super Metroid run. And I've, I've had requests to do uh, Zero Mission and Fusion. I have both those games in the Wii U. I just haven't touched them. Like, <laughs> I haven't touched them. And to this day, I still haven't seen anything on the games. So they are, they are still blind to me. And I'm super excited that literally this upcoming year, I can actually jump into those games and play them. And like, like I said, it's just the, the possibilities are now of games that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I can now do them and not, <laughs> and not worry, basically. 
Like, I feel like at some point I would have done the games, but I would rather me not have to do a copyright. Like, that, that was my, my ultimate thing. I was like, ah, oh, I, I, that's the only thing that I hate it. But now seeing that shit's gone, I, I feel liberated. I can be like, let's go. Let's, let's just play a whole bunch of games. Because, quite frankly, and this is a little, little behind the scenes story for you guys. Uh, I know that I have like the border around. I literally got that, like that idea, <laughs> strange enough, from Nintendo and on the Wii U when they had the, uh, it was that weird app kind of game that you just put an amiibo on there and then you could play like half a minute of a game, <laughs> of whatnot, of a game that you can go from the eShop. And they had this really cool border and I was like, can I implement that? And could that help me liberate myself from like not getting copyrights? For the most part, it was it was working. Then it stopped working. <laughs> but I liked the structure of it, and that's why that's where that came from, and whatnot. So, but yeah, now now I know I feel like I have free reign of what I, I mean. Not total free reign. There are certain games that I would love to do, but I would still get hit with copyrights from other companies. But you know, that's besides the point because I don't really focus on their games that much, so I don't really care. But uh, as for this, hey, I'm I'm totally ecstatic about it. I'm totally, totally ecstatic about it. I also have maybe a few surprises for you guys as well for some new blonde runs that I think some of you would be like, how the hell did you not play this when everyone else was? How did you avoid the spoilers? I'm like, I got, I have ways. I have ways <laughs> of getting around spoilers when it comes to certain games. So I do have maybe two, three surprises of games that uh, I've been holding off from playing but have, and I'm looking forward to playing them on the channel as well. Uh, aside from that, uh, I'm just looking to grow the channel in 2019. That's kind of like my big thing. I just, I want to, I want the channel to grow. I want this community to grow. Uh, even in fact, as I'm telling you guys this, I am, I've been working on a Discord. Um, so if anyone wanted to join that, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> you know, it's, it's basically open. I still got a few things to tweak out with it. But for the most part, it's it's like 90% complete. So there's that. Uh, aside from that, uh, the little bit that I do want to talk about Twitch, I do have a few games that are going to be Twitch exclusives only because of, again, there are certain game companies that still hit me with copyright. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to go right over to Twitch and do like videos over there. So that's still a thing that I could do. I was kind of concerned about it because uh, for a while they were like saying we're taking it away, but I still have it. I don't know if it's going to be changing. So more on that in the upcoming year. But games like Fez, I was uh, one of my subscribers have asked me if I would ever do Fez. Fez, I have seen in the past. I've seen very little gameplay, maybe a few reviews over it, and it, it looked like the game that I would be very interested in playing. It's just I didn't want to do it copyright. So, <laughs> I feel like Fez would probably be the first game that I would probably do over there. I recently just got that game on Steam, so uh, you make the magic happen, right? So, Fez is going to be a thing that I'm going to be doing over on Steam, and then also there's going to be some more rhythm games coming out, because someone, <laughs> this is probably also a reason why videos have been having a little bit of issues is I got Persona dancing all night for the PlayStation 4, so I literally got I got the the all the, the the endless night collection. So that basically came with a digital code for Persona 4 dancing all night, and then I got the physical copies of Persona 3 dancing in moonlight and Persona 5 dancing starlight. And if you follow me on any kind of social media, you know that I platinum all those games. <laughs> So, we can honestly say that my time was spent elsewhere. Um, but on that note, that was part of the reason why, but another reason that videos have kind of been discombobulated, or especially if the video was late, or I just post them up on a certain way, and that wasn't usual. I was basically trying to play catch up. Ever since I came back from, uh, from NecroCon, I've been playing catch up. And considering when we got to the end of the year, I was like, you know what, let me just, let me, 
let me just take some time. Let me, let me first recuperate, and then let me do some other things. Ugh, so, that's why you haven't seen any videos this week, and you're probably not going to see any videos the first week of January, just so I can get me a good buffer room as well. Not to mention, I have to help Autumn Child with a project that she's working on, and I need to get to that. <laughs> I think at this point, I'm like maybe 50% done with line work. Uh, so much reading. But regardless of the fact, that is going to take priority while y'all guys are watching this video so that we can get her stuff and then I can move on to my other things. But yeah, uh, I think that's a, a bit of the roundup. So we've done a shit ton of games. I'm looking forward to 2019 to see what other madness I'm going to throw myself into. Uh, the channel has been growing, which makes me ecstatic. Uh, and I'm super appreciative to all you guys who comment, leave likes. Hell, even if y'all leave a dislike and tell me what you didn't like about the video, that that helps me. <laughs> um, it does. It lets me know, but like, hey, I should work on this so that way this is not an issue in the future. Yay. Thanks, guys. Um, but overall, just... It's weird how 2018 on, on the YouTube side of things have actually been a good year. There's other things that's happened this year that wasn't that great, but I digress and we move on. So guys, I think with that, I hope, I just want to say like I really hope that you all all had a very safe and amazing holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate, that whole happy holidays because people get very sensitive when you say certain things. I don't know why, but whatever, it's it's whatever. I hope you all had a good holiday season, is, is basically what I'm saying here. And that I, I, I hope you guys are gonna have a great and safe New Year, so don't do anything stupid, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, because quite literally, I've already had a few friends I've gotten to some car accidents, and that's been scary, and goodness, hell, I almost got hit by a car. Yeah, I know, holiday season is just rough. <laughs> But I'm okay, they're okay, we're all okay. Uh, but yeah, so you guys, please be safe out there because people out there don't know how to drive and people are very impatient and feel the need to be right, you know, they're wrong. But I'm mean, on a side tangent. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I've taken up enough of you guys' time. Thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. I know it's a little bit longer than I, I was even expecting, but there was a lot of things that I wanted to share with you guys. But with that, I hope you all have yourself an amazing day. Please be safe out there. Uh, stay coolie, I guess. You know, do that. Uh, once again, my name has been Chaotix. And I look forward to seeing you guys in 2019. But until then, let's have fun at the end of 2018, shall we? Later.